What's going on everyone? We're back with another video. This is kind of a tutorial slash how to improve a reel, in my opinion. Um, so if you've watched my previous videos, you would have seen that I have purchased some of these. The Daiwa 5000T tournament reels. So, fantastic reels. I think they look brilliant. I love everything about them. But, there is one thing. And that one thing is the drag system. Well, I say there's one thing, there's two things. One is the line clip, and two is the, the drag system. It's very long to, to, for a fully tight tightened drag to be loosened off, it's four turns. But we have a solution, and it's these ice washers. So you get five of them. I've actually already done this reel. This one was my, my tester yesterday. So I'll give you an example of the difference. All right, so that's fully, fully locked off. So we'll do two full turns, and now we're free. So I'll put that one to one side, take the other reel. This one has not been done. We'll fully lock it off. So, that's fully locked, one, two. It's looser, but still extremely tight. So, installing these ice washers will go from, so basically to get to what I had on the last reel, you need to do that as four turns. So now that is a completely loose clutch. So basically we'll half that, we'll reduce it to two turns rather than four. So what we'll do, I've got the camera set up to show you how I'm gonna do it. We'll leave this one here. And what you'll need, you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver and your five ice washers. So let's get into it. First of all, you want to remove the spool. There we go, I'll put the reel to one side. So, this is what you have. And I'll use the screwdriver. This one is actually broken from work, but you can, it works for this. So you can see this kind of metal clip that goes around the inside edge and it holds these washers in place. And what we wanna do is remove that, but you do not just wanna ping it because you will lose it. So put your hand in on one side to hold it and then release it on the other side. And very gently pick it out. Again, you really don't want this to fly off. There we go, so that is fully released now. can be slightly fiddly, so I'll leave that there to keep that safe. Right, now we've got the, the cap at the top, so we can remove that. Kind of like a, an old Coke can. So we'll put that, what we'll do, we'll put it in order so we can see how it came out. And there's one of the old felt washers. And there we have a washer, but it has these grooves, or grooves, or um, what would you call them? What do I call them? Tabs? Yeah, kind of tabs. So that goes there. Our next one is another felt. Now a standard washer. They start to stick together the lower you get down. So we've got a felt and we have another washer with tabs on it. And again, felt. They're very greasy, just so you're aware. And I think the last ones, that felt one there. Ah, so the last one was a felt one. Right, so now what we'll do is we'll start putting our new ones in. So you wanna lay that in there, like so. So what we'll do, we'll move the felt ones as we go. There we go. 
ice washer, remove the felt. And the ones with tabs, they will only go in a certain way. I like to put them in the way they came out. Take that one away. Ice washer. Metal. Ice washer. Metal, again that's with the tabs. Otherwise it won't go in properly. And last one is there, like so. Now what we do is put our metal cap back on. And there's kind of a bit of give. When you push down, it will give a little bit. So this bit does get fiddly because you have to push it down and this is now tighter than it previously was because these are slightly bigger, these washers. So it's slightly more snug, but we need to press down and get our little clip in. My hands are a bit greasy. Let's just rub it in even more, you know. Right, so how I'll do this, I will push down. I'll take the reel into one hand and you can kind of see these little cutout. Don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's slight little grooves. So I'll put that in there, like so. It is fiddly, so you'll have to bear with me. You will feel it, feel it when it goes in the groove. It just feels like, yeah, it's supposed to be there. No. Right, so that is one side in. That's that. So you kind of work your way around if you can see this. Now let's get that back edge clipped in. There you go. And the last piece, use my nail. And that is that clip in there, like so. You want to make sure it's secure because you do not want that popping out. So there we have it. Right, greasy fingers, I'm wiping them on my jeans. Shouldn't really be doing that. So now we'll bring our reel back. Put it on. Right, let's tighten this up. So we'll go full tight, fully tightened. Right. Fully locked. Now, half a turn, half a turn, one, two. There you go. Now both of them have been, they're not, I can't say it's a quick drag, because it's not, it's still two turns, but I don't like the way that the, uh, I think they're called Western developments. I don't like the way them, the spool caps look I think they make they kind of ruin the the look of the reel. Um, so I, that's why I thought oh, I'll try these and see how I get on. And this will be fine for me. I know this is this will be fine for how I fish. So yeah, tighten up again just to show you. Fully tightened. Half a turn, half a turn, half a turn, half a turn. Loose clutch. So there you go, I hope it was informative for you. Um, Cause the, these, these are ice washers I got, so for two reels, I can't tell you exactly, I think it was about 15 pound for the ice washers, and that's from Future Reel Servicing, they're on eBay. Um, and the Western Development spool caps, they were, I think about 50 quid for two. And I bought them, and I just, I put them on and just thought, nah, it kind of ruins it. They're black and it doesn't, it completely like really stands out on the reel and I don't, I just don't like the look of them. So yeah, went down this route and it saved me some money. So I hope it's been informative for you. And yeah, if you're on what, if you're, if you're unsure about anything, just drop down in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out. But yeah, it was a quick video. Have a good evening. Put Coronation Street on. Actually, no, put my YouTube channel on with a cup of tea, watch all my videos, like, subscribe and share. Happy days. Sweet. Only joking. Thank you very much. See you later.